I thought I would start a weekly vlog, although it's Wednesday and it is 10 to 4, so I don't know if you can really call it a weekly vlog when you're starting this late in the day. But I thought it would give me something to do for the rest of the week. Um, Forrest is just living his best life in his bouncer. He's worked out. He's worked out how to bounce in it now, so he's basically loving life. Today we haven't done a lot. We've taken Sean to work and we've read some books. We've had some cuddles. We've been in the bouncer. Well, I haven't been in the bouncer. Could you imagine that? I'll break straight away. But this, this one has been in his bouncer. Oh, excuse the state of everything. But look at him go. Woo woo! Woo woo! Why are you not bouncing? <laughs> So yeah, he's been in his bouncer, I've read some books, we've tidied a bit of the kitchen, we've spoken to Sean's mum about what he wants for his birthday that Sean doesn't know about. Just about it. Sean's on a late, so solo parenting tonight, bath time on our own, which is fine. He's pretty good at going down. He goes, so he's, so he's six months on the 21st of September. Keep an eye on him, that's why I keep looking away. He's looking at me like, what is she doing? But he's six months on the 21st of September and at the moment he goes to bed around, well he has a bath at six every day because he started on solids and he ends up in a complete state. But yeah, so he has a bath at six and then usually his bottle around 6.20, 6.30. Very precise, I know. And then usually, He's in bed by 6.30 and asleep by 7. And then he wakes up, well, kind of doing like a five month, six month update for you, aren't I? You know he's not six months. Um, he wakes up probably once in the night. He hardly ever wakes up twice in the night and some nights he does sleep through it until about 6.30. So all in all, he's a pretty, a pretty, a pretty good sleeper. So can't complain too much because I know that other mums, even a friend of mine, is up every couple of hours with him during the night. I can't imagine anything worse. I'm bad enough when I don't get to sleep through or have a lion in the morning. I'm the worst ever. I'm just such a grumpy person. Um, he's going wild in his jumpery. Trying to even get them little legs going. Woohoo! I managed to zoom in and I have no idea how I did it. Oh my god, look at the state of the place. I tidy it every day. Most days. I tidy it pretty much. I tidy every day. And it just ends up in a state. And he's going to have to have like baby walker and all sorts of stuff in here. I don't understand how it's going to fit. I think we're going to get rid of one of the sofas. We've got two sofas and we both sit on the same two-seater. So the other sofa is basically where the cat sleeps and where we chuck loads of cushions and stuff. So it's pointless having it. So this little one wore himself out in his jumpery. So we're just sat down watching some cartoons, although he doesn't stay put for very long without moaning. But that face looks transfixed on the cartoons. Forrest, he's not a very good angle, is it? He's not showing your face very well. Hey, Spongebob Squarehead. Look how pale he is compared to me, and I'm pale.
Dinner time. Ooh, what is it? What's on the menu? Pear, oh, plums, pears, parsnips, and sweets. Yum. Was it yummy? Was it good? Yeah. So it's a little bit later on now. What is the time? It's coming up to half five, so nearly this one's bath time. But he had an absolute meltdown and he's ended up having dinner a little bit late, even though he shouldn't be having dinner because he had breakfast, lunch and dinner. Three three little meals today. Mm. So somebody is a piglet mm. but he just loves his food at the moment. He can't get enough of it. Mm. <laughs> Hello Fizz. Hello. <laughs> Why are you rubbing yourself on the recycling? This is strange. Have you got something to say? Dribble chops? Is it what mummy's got on her head? Is it what mummy's done to her head? Is it what it is? Is it what mummy's done to her head, baby? So he's loving life because my hair looks like this. And he loves it. When I've got my hair up, look at the state of it. I've just literally turned my head upside down. Aya! 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 Good morning everyone, today is a Thursday. My eyes look a funny colour. What, what, what colour eyes have I got? 
So today is Thursday, I am just having my slim fast. And I don't know if you can hear, but he is in his bouncer again. We are about to go out about in about 5-10 minutes and we're going for a walk, but the weather does not look great, so we're going to have to take... So we're going to have to take his rain cover in case it pours down. Mummy will get wet, but baby, be nice and dry. So I'll take you with us. So I'm just sat in the car with Forrest asleep. I don't know if I can show you him on the mirror. There he is. So he's asleep and I'm just waiting for Amy and Arlo to turn up and then we're gonna go for a nice windy walk. At least it's not snowing. In some, some places in the UK it's really bad and I'm not good in the snow. I get so cold. Since I've had a forest, since I've had forest, I am freezing all the time. And I'm wondering if I should go and get my thyroid checked um, because it's one of the, the symptoms of that and I don't seem to be able to lose weight. But that could be because I'm just a little piglet, so. <laughs> went for the walk and then we came back and had a bottle and then we went to Tesco because I couldn't think of anything worse than sitting in for the next five hours with a grizzly baby. So we've just got back and I thought I would quickly show you what I've bought. This is Forrest having his first rusk. I'm not sure, I think he likes it. So the first thing I got were these Farley Rusks Reduced Sugar. All ages, from four to six months. So he was started on solids around four months, so he's been on them for a month now, but it's like purees and stuff, so I thought I would give him something to gum on, and he seems to be enjoying it. Don't you? He's so yummy! So I got those, because they were on offer for a pound. And then, this is all very exciting, I got some more fairy fabric softener and I needed some and I needed some more colour catchers so I've got the Tesco version because they were cheap and then I just bought a four pack of Actimal ready to go bottles I got five cream eggs state of his fingers look at that yeah, I got some carrot and parsnip melty puffs and they can be from six months, so from this month. I got two packs of those because they were on offer the Ella Kitchen. And then I got, he hasn't had these yet, but I got cow and gate cauliflower cheese. Four to six months. I love cauliflower cheese, so I wonder if he will. And a veggie turkey risotto. Not sure what he'll think about this. And then a packet of Ella's Kitchen Prunes for when he's feeling a little bit bunged up. That's what we got from Tesco. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but I've swapped him to Mamia's own milk because it's pretty much the same as Aptimal and nearly half the price. So we're giving that a go. Yes. 
A stressful day. So today Forrest and I went and met my mum in Basingstoke to go shopping and it should have taken us 45 minutes to get there and it took over an hour. My phone sent me on some wild goose chase. I just went, I ended up going round in a circle at one point. I drove through so many country lanes. It was unreal. At one point I was driving for a country lane that looked like, it was basically private property, private property signs everywhere and I was like, this is like something out of a horror movie. Managed to get there. Then my mum upgraded her phone, which took forever. We went and got some lunch, Forrest kicked off, he wanted to eat my bread. And then it was time to come home. I went to Primark, got some bits I'll show you when I get inside. At the moment it's raining and I'm trying to avoid going out. Got some bits so yeah, so I've got some bits I'll show you when I get inside. And Forrest is staying at Grandma's tonight, so we've got an evening free. Well I've got an evening free. Sean's at work till about 10.30, 11. And then we might go to his parents and use their hot tub or I might just go to bed. Probably bed. Amazon order and I picked up the I picked up I ordered the Manfrotto Pixie mini tripod because the one I had wasn't sturdy enough for the camera I've got I've got the Olympus pen PL8 and it's quite a heavy camera and I also got this for Sean for his one of his birthday presents because each year or at Christmas and birthday I get him something kitchen related, the lucky boy and at Christmas he got a frying pan so now he's got a grill thermometer yes so I got this pink dress from Primark um, pink floral, it's like a baby pink, and then it's got a bardo neckline, so it just goes over your shoulders. I got it in a size 16, and it was six pounds. I'm hoping that it'll be quite loose on me and won't show it my mum tongue. But that, and then you either love this or hate this. I love it. This jumper, this black jumper with tassels. Yay! And it was in the sale and it was two pounds so i picked that up in an extra large and thought that that would look nice with my black jeans i also got this in the sale which is this baggy gray like baggy gray jumper with a round neck and then it's got down the side eyelets and ribbon and that was in the sale at £5 and should have been £13. So, bargain queen over here. I got Sean some Assassin's Creed socks for his birthday. They were £6 and two pairs of work socks for him, which were in the sale at £3. All very exciting stuff. And then it's my nephew, oh, it was my nephew's birthday uh, last week, so I'm going to see him tomorrow because I haven't managed to get down there yet. And I picked him up some clothes because I thought that his mum would be mad at me if I bought any more toys because they don't have any room for them. So I got him these mustard shorts. 
as he's just turned two, he probably doesn't have any summer clothes yet in his size. So I bought these mustard shorts for an absolute bargain. They look like such good quality and they were £3.50 and I got them in age two to three. And then I just got him this this t-shirt which they will probably hate but I love it. It's a very 80s print on it with cassette tapes, pizza, skateboards, palm trees and that was £2.50 and then I also got him because he's obsessed with dinosaurs he calls them door doors I got him this blow up dinosaur I have no idea how big it is for £3 let's see how big it is I'm sure he won't mind me opening it he's only two you know what? I probably won't be able to get this back in the packaging now it's it's this size. <laughs> Can you even see? It's this size. So he's got that. And then I grabbed him a little pack of socks for two pound fifty. And there are one, two, three, four, five pairs in there. And then the last thing I got was a grab mount for my phone to go in the car. I don't know if it'll work, but it was three pounds to give it a try. So yeah, that's everything I got from Primark. And I bought my dad some jogging bottoms for his birthday, but nobody needs to see them. I've been feeling so small. Watched the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what. Where are we going, Sean? We're going to. We're going to Frankie Benny's, and then we're going to Southampton. To get our baby. Are you looking at the lens or looking at me? I'm looking at you. When I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive. Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes when I feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town so It's a little bit late now and Sean's gone in to his parents quickly because they are on holiday and he needs to feed the cat and grab some other bits. And Forrest is asleep in the car so I'm sat in the car with the music up so that he doesn't notice that the engine's been turned off. And we are listening to uh, Disney's Greatest Hits. Get my craze. Now, engine fighting is something he knows, so he shoulders his rifle and off he goes. Baby, Bertie, Daisy, Daisy, 
I start getting grey about 27, to be honest. Out. I need to get dressed first because I'm in this sexy nighty, and this one needs to have a change of clothes. Yeah, this one needs to have a change of clothes. He has not been in good spirits. He's had me up since far. Oh, he woke me up at 5:30 and refused to go back down. Sorry if you can't hear me. The TV's on in the background. I can't find the TV remote. But he refused to go back down. I was up until 7:30 with him, and then Sean got up and took over, and I stayed in bed till 10:30. But we are off to TGI's, Mummy's favourite. We're hoping it's just his leap that he's going through, which is making him so moody. He seems a little bit happier now. Faces merge and change, but your face remains the same. Forrest was in the worst mood ever. He screamed the place down to the point that the waiter was like, is there anything I can do to help? I was a little bit mortified. I think it's his teeth and I stupidly forgot to bring his teething gel with him. So it was not the most enjoyable meal. Um, he's, we're now home and he's in the bath with Sean, not on his own. <laughs> so yeah, Sean's bathing him at the moment and I'm just getting the bits ready. And I think I'm going to leave the weekly vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you guys soon. Bye.